Uh, today, I want to talk about why I think uh, artificial intelligence will not replace radiologists in the foreseeable future. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about what I uh, need to make a radiologist. Uh, basically, we need 13 years of special training. We first started four years of undergraduate uh, education uh, with preparation of pre-medical training. And then we went through um, rigorous tests uh, and uh, screening to be admitted to a medical school for additional four years of medical training to be a general medical doctor with MD degree. And then we do a one year of internship uh, sometimes in surgery, sometimes in internal medicine, uh, sometimes in internal medicine, and additional four year of diagnostic radiology training with all the uh, specialties uh, rotated, uh, basically from the brain to the toe, including mammogram, nuclear medicine, everything. And then we have additional one to two year of uh, subspecialty training. For example, I'm a neuroradiologist, so I have uh, another year of uh, neuroradiology training. Then we get uh, board certified uh, to practice. Uh, this is versus uh, after this year, you can be a general family doctor with two additional year of radiology, I'm sorry, uh, with two additional year of family doctor or internal medicine doctor to be a uh, regular internal medicine doctor. That will be about uh, three years shorter than my training. Uh, basically, we call ourselves the doctor's doctor and also the patient's doctor we are responsible for for satisfying referring doctors question so we can answer their clinical question and also ultimately helping the patient to make the right decision as a uh, supervising physician for a radiology department we are considered the captain of the uh, uh, ship so basically anybody in the radiology department uh, have made some mistakes, uh, we are at fault. So this is a, a very critical role in the uh, imaging uh, department. And this is how the court treat radiologists uh, for the radiologist responsibility. For example, uh, from this uh, workflow, this is not my company's workflow that I borrowed from the internet. Uh, this is a workflow of radiology um, department so I can go through the workflow to tell you what role are we playing in the workflow and then you can imagine what part can be replaced or cannot be replaced by artificial intelligence. Uh, basically the uh, request started after the uh, doc uh, family doctor for example examined the patient and uh, want to have further imaging of the patient, um, he will order an examination. But many times, uh, they are not sure what exam to order. For example, a patient had a headache or dizziness, both, uh, both symptoms. So he's not sure to order as MRI study of the brain or MRI of the internal auditory canal. Uh, they are different. Uh, in name and uh, exam order and codes, so he ha usually will call me uh, for some clarification uh, about what case, uh, what study to order. Uh, for example, um, f in, in case of chronic headache with no f new features and normal neurological examination, and there are so many choices. To, uh, to further imaging uh, this patient. However, uh, with my background, uh, I know CT MRI study of the head without and with contrast enhancement has the highest rating, and that is the most indicated, uh, because uh, this is from our uh, society, American College of Radiology, uh, telling you what is the best study for each clinical scenario. Uh, because I know what each tool, what is the uh, advantage and disadvantage of each tool, so I can uh, 
personalize the study well for the patient and the referring physician. Uh, because everybody has different clinical situations, this is a very interactive uh, uh, decision. Uh, for example, if patients have history of cancer, uh, this will be a different uh, story uh, as compared to just a 20-year-old uh, healthy male. Uh, you can see that this is a 22-page uh, just for the ACR appropriate criteria for uh, so headaches. There are many, many other uh, scenarios that uh, need a lot of interaction and uh, a lot of based on the personal experience. So basically you have to have normal human interaction plus a uh, strong back to, um, be medical background to interact with referring physician. S therefore you can imagine artificial intelligence have to conquer the regular human interaction and then in addition to medical level interaction before you can talk about uh, replacing a, a doctor. Uh, back to uh, the workflow. And then uh, say patient uh, study uh, information was entered in the computer system and uh, the scheduler uh, sometime called radiologists for say, can this two study done in the same day can one contrast study affect the next study? There are a lot of questions regarding how to schedule the patient, and that uh, usually only can be decided by the radiologist. Um, along the same chain, there are many other uh, decision trees that uh, ultimately, uh, if they have questions, they will ask the radiologist for decision. Uh, basically, the scheduling, the imaging part, uh, the technologist, to do the image and then quality, con quality control of the image to make sure the quality is as satisfactory for analysis. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things happening here before the image hit the, the uh, electronic system. If you know that uh, junk in equal junk out, that means uh, uh, the, no matter how intelligent the artificial intelligence is, if the uh, inadequate non-diagnostic study was provided, it would not find the uh, abnormality. Uh, what uh, the public see, uh, what the public sees, is the uh, hype of artificial intelligence. For example, this one is IBM Watson to bring their studies to uh, radiology. Uh, however, I think there is a lot of uh, overhype uh, happening. I will use uh, my uh, Google Photo as example. Google Photos is all artificial intelligence and uh, uh, f for s uh, screening uh, pictures. For example, um, I type in giraffe on my photo collection. It will find all the giraffe uh, that it can find. It find a lot of my picture in Africa, but also find them a uh, toy, uh, toy gir giraffe. But also find this picture, which is an ancient uh, war uh, machine that attacking the fortresses that I saw in Xi'an, and I consider this as a giraffe. And also consider uh, the uh, uh, ostrich as a giraffe. And also consider this tail of the cheetah that I took a picture that I consider as a giraffe. So it's really, uh, it's kind of a, a, a gist of the giraffe, but not a real giraffe. It's kind of a monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see a lot, become a super monkey, but still is not human yet. Uh, one additional point is you are training the monkey with the current set of images and reports. You have to assume the current images quality and the variety are not changing in the future, which is incorrect because the radiology keep evolving. And also you have to assume the current report are the best report, which is also incorrect because there are specialists that are reading the report that are much more accurate and more valuable than the general radiologist. And therefore, the best monkey can do is at the time of his training. You cannot learn new things. Uh, for example, uh, this is a study that uh, uh, a automatic uh, 
labeling what part of the brain is gray matter, what part is white matter, what part is uh, cerebellum. It will label for you. 99.9% .9 of the study occurred in America does not have this kind of additional service. This company provides this service, they charge money, and, uh, and they are valuable for referring physicians and us. With or without artificial intelligence, this is a future for radiologists because it's beneficial, it's just a way to be propagated uh, if the price is low enough. Uh, artificial intelligence learns but does not provide intuitive uh, information like this. For the artificial intelligence can tell you the picture likely have some brain tumor, but where's the tumor, how big it is, it does not know because it learned from history that with this kind of a picture, the result is tumor, but it does not know where is the tumor because it does not have common sense. And that's why I think the uh, artificial, artificial intelligence can be a great uh, future support for radiologists instead of replacing radiologists. Think about the, uh, the uh, Watson literature review can be a uh, assistant to an oncologist treating cancer patient. It does not replace oncologists. Then why can be a, a, why a Watson imaging analysis can replace a radiologist? And most, it can be a radiologist uh, assistant. To be a worthwhile radiologist assistant, you got to uh, reduce your false positive case. Otherwise, every case, you, uh, the radiologist will be bothered by this uh, artificial intelligence just as if a newly uh, graduated uh, college student or a new medical student pointing to every part of the picture, what is that, what is that, is that a cancer, is that a cancer, is that a cancer? And then if you answer all that, it will be much worse than without such assistance. Plus, you also have to consider the consumer of uh, imaging. A referring doctor, they build trust with a, a, re doc, a radiologist. If I said something wrong for a neurosurgeon, they operated and they found that my report is useless or tell them something wrong, they will, uh, they will not trust my report. They will, uh, they will give me feedback or, uh, or they do, next time they'll find someone else reading it. Uh, is say they give me a feedback and they expect me to correct my mistake and improve on the next case. Uh, however, such kind of interaction cannot be expected for artificial intelligence because you just cannot provide individual feedback. Over time, uh, the referring doctor has built a trust with me because uh, I usually don't tell them uh, lies and I tell them useful information. And then my signature in the report will matter uh, a lot versus a unknown radiologist versus a artificial intelligent radiologist. As you can see, uh, we are, as a radiologist, uh, we are an integral part of the imaging flow, workflow, and then we are the captain of the ship. Uh, if you want to replace a captain of a ship, you may want to first try to replace a sailor first. Show me you can replace a sailor before you can replace the captain. That's, uh, I'm, I'm making this video primarily responding to this uh, post by uh, Andrew, which is I have great admiration. I watch all his uh, lectures and uh, plus, uh, plus many other uh, artificial intelligence deep learning lectures. So I uh, respect their knowledge, but I want to contribute uh, that my radiology aspect of the equation. So because um, the uh, media hype about artificial intelligence deep learning are scaring away our future radiologist candidates such as this. And then uh, this is happening not here, that's happening in our society meeting as well. I, I understand that the, new, uh, the artificial intelligence is the new electricity for the f next century, but I don't think this electricity, uh, it will uh, change our life for the next 10 years. And then the prophecy of such a uh, uh, super monkey, I, I don't think, uh, uh, it's a very uh, do our uh, radiology uh, field any service because it's shorting our radiology um, future by cutting off our supply of smart.
candidate. If enough people believe the, the false promises of artificial intelligence, then this prophecy may become true because we don't have enough people. Then the artificial intelligence have to replace it because of the, how do I say, some ignorance of the artificial intelligence from uh, about the radiology uh, workflow.